Hi there, welcome to today's video. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, we're going to look at how to create this uh, hover effect. Uh, nice and simple, so let's get into it. Over here, we're going to do the usual thing. We've created a folder and up our hover effect. Going to do an index. Good start. Index.html and styles.css. There we go. Now in the index, we're going to do the usual punctuation mark tab. Give it a title. Um, offer effect. Save. Let's open that. Live server. Good. Now we can close this. Let's link to the style sheet. Type in link and tab styles. CSS. Save. Right, not much HTML to go in here. All we really need to do is create a class called navbar. And in there we're going to create a nav tag. Probably do without that. Probably just... We could do it without a navbar class, to be honest. But I'm going to do it this way. Um, li times 5, and each one has an anchor tag tab there we go control click into each href put a hash because we're not linking them to anything just yet let's put the menu items in here that's about services portfolio contact save there they are. Go underneath the nav and I'm going to add a div with a class of logo and in here actually I'm going to do a span with NTW and then this is going to be Geeksville. Save. And that is it for the HTML. Nice and simple. So let's get over to the styles. I'm going to go to uh, Google fonts and grab the Montserrat style. I'm going to import it. So let's grab that. Copy. Paste. Good. Let's grab everything. And in there, I'm going to say, uh, let's go down here, grab this. Default font is that one. Let's do the usual resets. No paddings. No margins, box sizings, border box, and I'm also going to get a, a colour to the text if I can remember what I gave it. Uh, it's an older one. Uh, B1 ADAD. Save over here. There it is. Okay, let's get the background in. Let's construct the body. And um, because it's an example, I'm just going to give the body an a height of 100 viewport height with width of 100% and for the background I'm going to go back to CSS gradients I've picked this one here which is well it's just sitting there I'm not sure whether it's a default one or or what but it was it was sitting there and I liked it and it looks like this so <laughs> I'm just going to press copy to clipboard go over here paste I'm also going to say background um, attachment fixed. So if you put any more content, let's look at that, yeah. So if you put any more content in here and you have a scroll bar scrolling down, you won't get any tiling because this will be a fixed background, like when you fix an image to the background. It's the same sort of thing. So that's that sorted. Right, let's do the LIs. So I don't want any list styling. List style none. Not that you can see any at the minute anyway because I've removed all the paddings and margins. And for more anchor tags, I want to remove text decor. Um, text decoration none. Okay, there you go. Good. And that's the resets. So actual 
navbar. So the first thing we have is C navbar. <laughs> so let's do navbar. So we want to do display flex because we want to place the things inside. I want to say flex direction row. Uh, there you go, they're next to each other. Uh, if we justify content, I'm going to say space between and you'll see that uh, it's buggered off to the other side of the screen over here, so that's cool and align items center, so that'll be the vertical positioning um, but we do need to give it a height for that to take effect, so let's do that uh, 60 pixels there we go. You can see it over here, not so much over here because they're still stacked. So let's give it a width, shall we? Let's give it a width of 100%. Uh, let's give it some padding. So I'm going to do 0 top and bottom, 20 left and right. Good. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's give it a min width actually. So min width. 800 pixels save so if it goes below 800 let's grab the right one that's below 800 scroll bar kicks in so there you go so that's the min width let's give it a background color background color that'll be an rgba and I'm going to do 32, 32, 32, and 0.8. I think I did. There we go. And if you really want to, box shadow at 0 left and right, 8 pixels down, 10 pixel blur. Remember XY blur. And RGBA, which is going to be, get back there, black of 0.8. 3 opacity like so so are we missing anything from now I don't think we are we've got the height we've got the width in fact let's move this min width because that bothers me oops day there we go things should be together so that's that let's move on to the actual nav so, navbar, nav tag. Now, what I'm going to do here is uh, give it a block and a height 100%. Like I said before, we didn't really need to do this navbar class. We could have done all this to the actual nav tag. Um, but I chose to do this for whatever reason. So, let's just say display block um, height is going to be 100 percent but I also want to do that to the list items so I'm going to just comma separate them and say dot nav bar nav ulli there we go so we can forget about them now so let's actually grab this uh, copy and look at the anchor tags although I have missed something quite vital there haven't I let's go back up here grab this let's first have a look at the unordered list because it's still stacked so display Flex. So if we have a look over here, where is it? Nav UL. That's what we're concentrating on. See, so it's still stacked. So if we flex, flex direction row and save, there we go. And that also needs a height 100%, like so. Uh, we're going to do a line height to the center. Justify Content Center. 
Oops. There we go. Now then. Height is 100% of this. So line items, just five content, center, center. So why aren't you? Uh, okay, yes, the list items are 100% uh, high. Okay, so this is where we need to concentrate on the anchor tags. So display flex height 100%. Uh, then we're going to do align item center and justify content center. There we go. And we could do we're giving them some padding. So padding zero left and right, 20 top and bot. Sorry, zero top and bottom, 20 left and right. There we go, all spaced out. And let's give their position relative because we need that to do the underlines in a minute the whole point of this video font size I'm going to say one rem and font family I'm going to change to Vedana you might be wondering why I imported the Google font earlier but that was for the logo just because uh, I wanted to uh, right now, let's do the actual bit you came to see. Nav bar, nav U L L I A after. In fact, let's do a double there. That was weird. Okay. So you have to put a content in here even if you leave it blank because it's a before or after pseudo selector so I'm going to do display inline block so they're all next to each other I'm going to do a width of 100% of its container which is the actual anchor tag uh, da, 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 and I'm only going to give it a height of one pixel and obviously I want to remove the borders otherwise um, it's going to add thickness to it and then we give it a background colour RGB 91136233 that went wrong what's going on here there we go, save. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. Uh, where are we? Pull in a position. We need to actually position it. That'd be a good idea. Position absolute. So it's position absolute to the anchor tag, which has a position of relative. So we're going to say it's zero pixels from the bottom and zero pixels from the left. So there you go, they've all appeared now. They are separate, even though it looks like one big line. And next, we want to say, well, let's give it a Z index just to make sure it does stay visible. So I'm highlight five. And this is where we're going to make it disappear. Transform scale X zero gone. Let's we'll scale down to nothing and then we want to do a transform origin so where is it going to appear from where is it going to scale up from that's going to be the center on this example and then we want it to transition in so it's going to be a transition on the transform property this at 0.5 seconds and the height because we're going to change the height on this 0.5 seconds as well so save that uh, nothing's going to happen because we haven't actually done the hover effect so grab this down here sorry if I'm rushing I'm trying to keep this video fairly short so hover 
don't need two there. So if you're wondering why I've put it before the after, it's because we're hovering on the anchor tag and then we want to affect the after element. And on that, we want to say transform scale x one save and there it appears from the middle. We also want to change the height to two pixels. So the height also adjusts as it appears. Hopefully you can see that on your screen. And there you go, let's get rid of this. Now obviously you don't have to do uh, a one, you can do 0 0.8. It uh, does less if you did 0 0.3 have a, a little line appear that looks quite cool but I'm going to do one there save just like this now if you wanted the line to appear from the left you all you have to do is change this to left save and there it is and similarly right save and obviously you can adjust the transition um, where is it? This. So if you did two seconds on that, it's going to take a while since, well, two seconds. Um, <laughs> so obviously you can uh, play around with that and get it just as you want it. So that is that. I'm just going to finish off with the logo. If you're not interested, thanks for watching. <laughs> um, Hopefully you'll stick around just to watch this bit. Anyway, font size 0.7 rem. Uh, 1.7 rem even. Letter. Ah, uh, see I'm rushing now, aren't I? Div. There you go. Letter spacing. One pixel. And colour. I'm going to make it the same colour as the underline, which is this one. put that there there we go as you can see it's only applied it to this because NTW is separated out by the span so it's just yeah, it's not applying it to the siblings as well which is what I wanted actually so uh, look at me um, height 100% and I'm going to display flex just to make sure that it uh, aligns to the center and justifies to the center as well save good and last but not least there go span we're gonna say font weight we'll make that 600 and also do letter spacing there we go so that should be pretty much the same there we go so hopefully you've learnt something uh, if you have please leave a like um, please feel free to leave comments ask questions um, I'll do my best to answer them there'll be more videos coming up and obviously this will be on a github repository linked below in the description as always again thanks very much for watching do appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one bye bye for now